Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Uh, today, I basically have a video for you just breaking down a plugin that's very powerful in FL Studio. Uh, it's in pretty much all versions. This is FL Studio 20. But uh, before I get into that, if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats, and that's spelled P H A N A T I C. So let's jump right into it. This would be a quick video for you, but it's an awesome plugin that FL that comes with FL Studio that is very powerful and it adds a lot of dynamics and just create creativity to your beats. Uh, for instance, I use it a lot on hi hats, and this particular beat that I did, um, I didn't use it on hi hats. If you go to your mixer track. And I'm going to demonstrate on this particular sound. Uh, notice it's just panned to the right slightly. Just a little rhythm going on. I'm going to reset that and have it just going straight down the middle. And actually, you can look at the sound and kind of see that it's going a little louder to the left. So basically what I'm going to show you, the plugin, uh, you hit the drop down and you can choose the plugin. This plugin is called Fruity Panomatic. I use it a lot. Um, you select it and let me show you what it can do. Basically this is the LFO section. This is usually what I focus on. Um, you can, and it's off. So obviously when it's off, it means it's not engaged. You can hit the pan button, and what it does, it basically pans it based on these two parameters. So I'll hit play. Notice it's pretty much straight up and down. So if I increase the amount, what I'm doing there is increasing the amount of the panning. So let me hit increase it. Now notice it started on the right and moved to the left. And you can see that visually right here in the uh, track, right here, track eight. Um, basically, you can speed it up. The amount is like how much you want to pan to the right or how much you want to pan to the left. So I can speed it up. And basically what that does, it keeps the same amount in this particular setting, but also it speeds up the panning. So the amount's the same, but the panning goes right to left quicker. I'm going to increase it some more. <clears throat> so you notice how creative you can get with that. You can have your hi-hats going left to right over time based on the speed setting and also the amount because if you want it just a little bit you can lower the amount increase the speed Now you can see the type of creative results you get with that. Um, you can also choose these different uh, sh LFO shapes. LFO stands for Low Filter Oscillator, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> uh, low frequent, my bad. Low frequency oscillator. So basically, you can change. This gives you like an icon of how you want the panning to be. So it can be sharper. I usually use a smooth setting, uh, but it can be sharper. With the hi-hat, you can barely tell. Actually, you can tell pretty well there. So 
So you can get really creative with this panoramic um, plugin just by this little LFO section. Um, you can also do some graph stuff here, but I don't really get into that. Um, I don't really use this function, but you know it's a powerful little plugin where you can have you know your hi hats going left to right without having to do an automation, you know, without having to do create automation clip from the panning section. Um, and I'll give you an example how to beat sounds with it, with this on and with it off. And I'll just hit play. This is the beat that I made uh, a little while ago. Uh, I'll let you hear how it sounds. Let me unmute everything. Now you see how you see how the hi hat is going left to right. Uh, and, and let me take off the plug-in and let you hear how it sounds. And on. Now you can see how creative you can you can have with that. And not only can you just do that on a hi hat, you can put that this plug-in on any instrument. Let me find something that's pretty prominent in this beat. Now notice this particular lead actually fluctuates left and right really fast. We might want to try the piano. So we'll use this piano and you can also just, you know, you hit the drop down, you go to Fruity Panoramic and what you can do is obviously do the same things we just did with the same sound, with a different sound. Uh, my apologies, I put that on the wrong track. So let's just hit save preset as and drop it on piano. And don't forget to turn it on. Hit pan and then it will operate. Notice how when I chose the different shapes, it almost gave me like a tremolo sound, like a tremolo piano that fluctuates really fast. The speed's up and the amount's pretty high and it gives me a totally different sound, so check it out. And with it off, and with the whole beat playing and with it on. You get the idea. So Fruity Panoramic comes with mostly every version, I believe, of FL Studio. It's always pre-installed in your um, effects area. Uh, it's under, where is that? It's under gain section, and it's usually installed there all the time, uh, just automatically when you load up the program. So, you know, have fun with it. Feel free to explore it with different sounds. Um, you can use it with anything that you put in here. You can do it with 808s, you know, just get really creative with it and just explore the parameters and you can come up, as you can see in this video, like with totally different sounds or like an alternate version of a sound. So that way you make the sound unique and your music, every sound, like when you start making sounds unique and you put more unique sounds together, your music is unique. It's you, it's your character, especially when you spend time working with the parameters. So hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the video and um, yeah, it's been DJ Fanatic Beats. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, um, it's at, at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. And again, content contributor for liveoffbeats.com. 
Keep making great music, y'all. All right, peace.